Hi, welcome to my channel. Uh, in this video, I will be talking about Flutter versus React Native. So, uh, who is uh, the winning the race uh, right now? So, uh, but before uh, jumping into details, I want to tell you that this uh, video separated into two videos. So, uh, because it is a little bit long. Uh, so, in, at the first video, I will be talking about technical details, and at the second video, I will be talking about the pros as the uh, pros and cons of React and Flutter, and uh, at the end of the second video, I will be talking about uh, my winner, my uh, winner choice, and I will tell why, and I will tell what will happen in the future. Uh, so, because it will be an important decision uh, for anybody who wants to uh, develop a mobile application with React Native or Flutter. So, uh, I will give my opinion on. Uh, on that. I develop mobile, mobile applications with React Native and Flutter so that I can uh, comment. Uh, I have some deep knowledge about the topic, so uh, I believe I can comment on this. Uh, comment on this better. Uh, so I will try to review both platforms uh, and also uh, <clears throat> I, uh, I will uh, review both platform without a bias. So, for example. I'm using React Native mostly, uh, uh, so that doesn't mean that I, uh, you know, I uh, I have a tendency to suggest React Native. I uh, personally I don't care about <clears throat> uh, what this is good, this is bad. I care about the uh, problem and the solution and what is the best for the solution. So uh, with that in mind, uh, let's uh, jump into the Flutter versus React Native. First of all, uh, let's start with the React Native introduction. So, what is React Native? React Native is a reactive UI framework based on React. So, uh, what we see on the screen is the result of some uh, UI logic and the combination of state. So, when we, you know, when we see something on the screen, it is a result of uh, what we are combining uh, state with the uh, <coughs> UI. So, everything is. Uh, rendered by React and React Native Framework. So we just uh, uh, telling React what kind of screen we want to show to the user. So, uh, as I mentioned, the developer is not directly in, uh, involved in the creation of actual views because uh, React Native and React, you know, they run combined, they are handling the rendering. We just telling <coughs> the platform what to do. So. Uh, React Native you, <clears throat> uses web-like features. For example, when we are developing for web, uh, we are using CSS, we are using HTML, we are using JavaScript, right? So, uh, React Native, uh, you know, uh, React Native aims to uh, help, not help, but aims to uh, be a platform which is, uh, which it, it is like web mobile development environment. For example, it has some st uh, CSS support. It has uh, some HTML-like uh, syntax with GSX, uh, and also it is developed by you know it, it is developed by using JavaScript. So, uh, for example, when a person who develops with React, uh, uh, when this person with developer jumps into the React Native world. Uh, there will be no difference uh, when the you know when doing the development. So it will be the same uh, platform. You know, it will be the same tools. So, but of course the rendering will be different uh, because it will render onto the mobile and it will be very native uh, UIs. Uh, when we compare web, it will be you know, web UI. <clears throat> so. Uh, the React Native's big goal is to create an environment for web-like development. So, uh, React Native, as I mentioned, just is used for React Native. So, React Native uh, just is the main development <coughs> language for React Native. But that doesn't mean that uh, the only language is JavaScript. Also, you can use TypeScript, but of course, TypeScript is based on JavaScript. So, when TypeScript is compiled, it's converted to JavaScript. So, at the end of the day, we are developing it with JavaScript. Uh, React Native, this is an important uh, <coughs> detail. React Native uses native components uh, behind the scenes. For example, when we are uh, 
telling we are, when we are you know developing a UI, for example, we are adding a button component, right? So the button component on Android, it will be Android's button component. And on iOS, it will be uh, iOS button component. So uh, React and React Native, the you know, combination, uh, is using the native component to render the screen. So what we get at Dandor today will be mostly uh, native components of that platform, of that operating system. So uh, this is a good thing if we want to develop, you know, native feeling, uh, but I will tell you later, it can be problematic time to time. <clears throat> so let's jump to the Flutter. Flutter also is a reactive uh, framework. Uh, with Flutter, uh, same as React Native, we are declaring the UI. Uh, with <coughs> uh, one, one, no, we are declaring some UI and uh, with combination of the state. So uh, also for on the Flutter side, developer is not directly involved in the creation of views. We are not creating a button, setting its color or etc. We are just declaring a state. Uh, I mean, we are declaring a view for a state. So it is good on the developer side. Uh, so <clears throat> uh, because because of that, it is really helpful. Uh, it is it is helping us to iterate fast because uh, uh, we are not you know dealing with uh, complex state management of the UIs. This is good for Flutter and React Native. <clears throat> uh, on the Flutter side, uh, the development line is a little bit different uh, comparing to React Native because React Native, I, what I told, React Native is uh, aiming to be web-like development environment, but Flutter is a little bit aiming to be like uh, a normal, you know, uh, UI, uh, normal mobile application development platform. It has uh, Dart language. <clears throat> so, uh, that language is it, uh, similar to JavaScript, but it, it has its own you know, differences. Uh, on that uh, language, it is static type language, so it doesn't have, it is not dynamic language. It, actually, it is dynamic, but not like JavaScript, it is very dynamic. So, uh, because of that, uh, that has a little bit uh, advantage over JavaScript because uh, so that doesn't have the problems of JavaScript. So, uh, the key difference, you know, as I mentioned, uh, React Native is using operating system native component while rendering, right? On the Flutter side, Flutter is doing the rendering of everything at the screen. Of course, we are not talking about embedded views. For example, there is an embedded view, uh, which is rendering an operating system component. Uh, that doesn't mean that Flutter is rendering that, uh, except that Flutter is rendered everything on the screen. This is very important uh, when we compare React and React Native. So let's jump into the details of the React Native. So uh, on the React Native side, uh, as you can see, uh, there's the JavaScript side and native side. On the JavaScript side, <coughs> uh, <clears throat> there is a the React Native library. Actually, this is native, but uh, it this React Native library uh, starts JavaScript virtual machine, and of course, uh, it loads the JavaScript file, and the JavaScript file includes the React JS framework, uh, our codes, and React Native JavaScript library codes. So uh, we can tell that uh, this side is JavaScript side, and this side is native side. So what's happening here? Uh, you know, our codes are running and we are telling React Native that we want to display this. It This uh, request is sent over a bridge. This is a JSON bridge. Uh, the Our, uh, you know, this is a string-based JSON bridge. So it, the, our requests are sent to native side and uh, native side uh, parses the JSON request and do, does the actual rendering. So as you can see, uh, there, uh, there are two rounds. So we are requesting something from the native side and we are not directly uh, you know, in touch with the native side. We, we are using a common bridge, which is a JSON string based uh, communication bridge and it is asynchronous. 
So uh, this is you know, simple and it is working right now. <coughs> so uh, this is the React Native <coughs> uh, technical detail. So uh, let let me show you an example React Native code so that we can understand what you know uh, how what is uh, how React Native works. <coughs> For example, we have a screen, right? Uh, so we are creating some states or we are selecting some states from a global uh, global place and we are telling uh, UI that we want to show a safe area view you know we we, we want to avoid iPhone 11, X11 uh, notch uh, height so we are telling that we want to show the view we use empty form you know rectangle so we are uh, we want to display a text or something like that. As you, as you can see, we are combining views with the state. So we are we are requesting this. This uh, this view is converted into some JSON string uh, request, and it is sent over a bridge here, uh, so that uh, we get the actual rendering. This is how React Native works technically, and also as you can see. Uh, you know, we, this is looking like an HTML uh, <coughs> HTML component, right? So actually, this is a GSX. So uh, it looks like we are developing a web. You know, we are doing a web development. So this is a good thing if you, <coughs> you know, for learning a platform because uh, HTML uh, style tagging is very easy to understand. <coughs> So let's get into the Flutter detail. <coughs> so on the Flutter side, <coughs> uh, it didn't load. Ah, yeah, on Flutter side, uh, it is similar to React Native. Actually, uh, we have a React. I mean, uh, Flutter called Realm and the Native Realm. The difference is, the Flutter Realm is uh, communicating with the re Native Realm directly. So this is a key difference between the React Native and React. Uh, on the React side, uh, this is the pro this is the problem that I will tell you later. Uh, so as you can see, we are running our code with you know, on, we are developing with Dart, and our Dart code are running on the Dart engine, and <clears throat> uh, also the Flutter framework engine is developed on React Dart. So that means everything is. Uh, Running over that engine, and the that and you know the Flutter framework is uh, writing the native uh, uh, components. For example, uh, what I told you, what I told you, if you remember, uh, Flutter is rendering everything on the screen, right? So uh, Flutter, uh, by your combination of Sky engine, is run rendering everything on the screen uh, by using the Sky engine. So uh, this is a key difference. Uh, on the React side, native side, we are using the operating system console and rendering them. <coughs> but on the Flutter side, we have one screen. I mean, Flutter has one screen, and it is uh, rendering everything on the screen by using Sky uh, engine. So this is a key difference between them. And the, of course, the key one of the key difference is the communication channel is that uh, you know. Uh, the communication channel is not a strict based communication channel. It is a direct communication channel, which is good for Flutter. <clears throat> so let me show you a Flutter code so that we can <clears throat> understand what's the difference between Flutter and React Native uh, development. On the Flutter side, uh, coding, you know, developing uh, is uh, feels like we are developing. Uh, not like you know, it, it 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 is not like a web development environment. It is a more uh, maybe Android development or iOS development. It is kind of feeling like a more uh, engineering uh, experience. So it's a good it is good or bad. Uh, so I will uh, dive into the details later. Uh, so at here, as you can see, in the. Uh, UI is you know, when we want to declare a UI, it is a little bit different. There is no HTML like syntax. <coughs> we are uh, creating some widgets, uh, component widgets, 
uh, volatile calls everything widget. So I will tell, I will call them widget. So we are uh, creating widgets and we are uh, declaring widget inside widget. And so by using combining all widgets, we are creating a view. And of course, we are combining with state. So uh, at the end of the day, uh, Flutter, what they are working with Flutter is a little bit more con time consuming if you're comparing to React Native and a little bit complex. But that doesn't mean that it is uh, hard to develop or it is impossible to develop. Just it is a little bit complex comparing to React Native. But of course, when you do it uh, a lot, then you will get used to that. So it will be no problem. So, uh, as you can see, the Flutter uh, is. And these are the key differences between Flutter and React Native. So, so we reached uh, to the uh, end of the uh, first part. So uh, we will continue with the second uh, part uh, with the you know, second video. Uh, so uh, I will be uh, diving into comparing uh, React Native versus uh, Flutter. And uh, I will tell uh, my winner at the end of the second video. And See you at the next video. Bye.